Daily Mail Ideal Home Exhibition has once more transformed Olympia. To the preview, they invited the Duchess of Gloucester. Ideal homes exist on many levels. One of the stateliest is Woburn Abbey, whose dining room, set out as on a big occasion, is represented for thousands to see. No harm in noting how the Dukes of Bedford have rubbed along and beginning the exhibition by imagining yourself eating off gold plate. Charles XII of Sweden. The Ascot Gold Cup of 1847. And from Longleat House, the state chariot owned by the Marquis of Bath. It was used at the Queen's coronation. The footmen may be dumb. Even so, being on exhibition was too much for one of them. The rainbow portrait of good Queen Bess, lent by the Marquis of Salisbury. A treasure of another kind, a gold jug said to be the finest example of English goldsmithing. And still on the plane of gracious living, there's a bedroom by the Chippendale workshops. It's surely everything that anyone could wish for 2,000 pounds. What could be more convenient than the rise and fall mirror? And how useful to have a special compartment for cosmetics. For just 2,000 guineas, a mink-covered convertible settee. Having contributed exhibits, the Duke and Duchess of Bedford no doubt enjoyed the preview. As we said, the settee is convertible. Luxury, if you like. Let's come down to Earth, and a very pleasant Earth, too. The rest of the exhibition designed for the rest of us. Nothing cheap and shoddy, but all of it, like the self-assembly kitchens, aiming at the ideal in the home. Half the secret of a good kitchen lies in having enough cupboards in the right place. Considering how much time every housewife spends there, the kitchen is the most important room in the house. The dainty made kitchen seems to have everything, wonderfully planned to be practically within arm's reach. For the Duchess, a safety cooker demonstration. The latest idea, shoe makeup, a choice of 39 colors. So don't be content with the same colored shoes every day. Make them up in colors and designs to match the rest of your outfit. Here you are, a brilliant idea. And here's one of those little things that make all the difference. 72-year-old Molly Wiley invented the Rug Rider, a really well-designed gadget to do away with that drafty gap under the door. An ironing table with everything to make that tiring business a lot easier. It's in tune with the rest of the exhibition. No sense in putting up with drudgery when it can be avoided. When the ironing's over, what about airing? The fold-away five-strand line looks to be the complete answer. Of course, as every downtrodden husband well knows, life's real bugbear is washing up. So this is the era of the dishwashing machine. Obviously a sink sufferer, John Slater sees male emancipation at last, even with shoe cleaning. There seems to be only one thing electricity can't do for us nowadays, pay the quarter's electric bill. Into the same socket, plug in a food mixer. Another dishwasher is loaded from the front, not the top. Many housewives consider it a better idea as they don't have to delve into the depths to get the things out afterwards.
just as you see washing machines pretty well everywhere, so before long, dishwashers will be just as common. A new type of oil heater, efficient, very elegant. Warming a fellow in a dress shirt, an electric heater. Over to Hong Kong. You may not think of that part of the world when you're seeing the ideal home, but the arts and crafts of the Far East can teach us a lot. A head of the queen being carved in ivory. The Taiping Carpet Factory, one of the most modern in Hong Kong, retains the individual skill of craftswomen combined with up-to-date methods. Many strikingly beautiful designs are the result. Some beautiful chandeliers from Austria. What an enormous field is covered at Olympia. It's the 40th ideal home exhibition the Daily Mail has put on. It was a brilliant conception when it began in 1908, and the interest goes on increasing. As gardens are a part of the ideal home, they're always a big feature of the exhibition. Here, a Belgian cacti garden. Also in the Belgian garden, azaleas. A tropical garden. About a million people will wander through before the month is over. Many will wonder how it has all been done. Many who are gardeners may go away in despair. Finally, some houses. Prominent are some that get right away from conventional architecture. And of them, perhaps the most striking is the Daily Mail house, called An Adventure in Design. The upper floor is planned to catch all the light that's going. Very important in a country like ours, where the light seldom dazzles. <music> Bathrooms go on getting better every year. They can be improved inexpensively, but it's nice to have a peep at one where money's been no object. Taps running. Half an hour on the phone and she'll be underwater. The ideal home, the world's loveliest dream, and the world's biggest chandelier sheds light on the subject. 